Hey, what's up, fellas? It's about 11 o'clock here. Uh, the sun finally came up. It's, it's only like 40, 45 degrees right now. The wind, it's, a, it's actually I'm trying to be tough, but it's actually physically cold. I'm going to roll you inside. I'm going to give you the financial update. And then for the rest of the day, I'm going to shut my uh, phone off. I just, every once in a while, <clears throat> to uh, keep myself in uh, reality, I try to uh, not <laughs> not um, do too much. All right. So last week we were at on uh, March 10th, 2023, our sum total for our 11 drip stocks was $13,546.92. Today, as of now, and that pretty much makes it two hours since 11. It's one o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. And so pretty much most of the trading is done at the New York Stock Exchange, S&P 500 and the rest of that stuff. Uh, our current uh, list in the account is $13,778.89. And we are up $231.97. Again, when we and I'm just getting ready to turn the camera around. When we do all of this stuff, we're doing it for uh, to use this as money we can leverage to help us in our future. Start a business, put a down payment on a house. Most of all, leverage it by using it as collateral to get a better annual percentage rating to buy assets or liabilities liabilities that over time become assets i'm going to do probably next week a whole series on figuring out the difference between an asset and a liability and one of the biggest and i call it a scam is these people that uh come on and talk about you can buy part of a, a work of art but you know what? If you ever go into it in depth, either Spencer Cornelia or uh, I can't remember the other guy. Uh, but the amount of fees, fees that they charge you just erase all of that stuff. And it's just to me, it's a, it's another form of a Ponzi scheme. So uh, first in, first out, that kind of stuff. Uh, I think the bank runs are pretty much over. So uh, let's get down to this because I don't want to waste any more time and, and I'm going to just, I'm off, off the, uh, I'm not off the grid, but I mean, I'm going to, I'm just not going to be goofing around on my phone probably for most of the weekend. Uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of the uh, basketball, uh, basketball tournament. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Princeton, the number 15 seed beat the number two seed Arizona. And that was... Anyways, had me uh, bah, dancing around. Ah, so here we go. I'm going to just show you, and hopefully you can see it. So it says up there here, here it asks me what you want to do. What would you like to do? Gift transfer, manage beneficiaries, view and update your profile, blah, 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 blah. I'll drop it down just a little bit so you can see the investment summary. What we don't want our wheel or donut to look like is for it to have over half of anyone's stock. So if one of these guys takes a hit, it doesn't knock the ass out of the bottom of all of our money we've invested. And and for me, this is not a lot of money. So um, up there in the corner, it says $13,778.89. And over the last couple of days, uh, there's been a bit of a, a rally. And the way that they made, did the rally in my, for stocks, the way they did the rally, in my opinion, is they stopped the bleeding and the runs on the bank. So I'm going to take you to the stocks. You know what? Next time, I, I just don't want to make a fucking pie chart up and do all this kind of stuff and say, hey, this went up 15 cents. I just, just want to show you what happened. All right. So here we go. We're going to go around and I'll show you the 11 stocks we have. So as of today, Amazon is $98.49. Right below that is California Water Service Group, which is CWT, which is $56.74. The one below that is Chesapeake Utilities Corporation, CPK, 
and I'd say 29 cents. Uh, Costco Wholesalers Corporation, 485 47 and that roughly goes anywhere between $425 up to $500 plus. So that's, that's a decent area where it's at. Um, Exxon Mobil, o, XOM, which used to just be knockout, is $100.07. Marathon Petroleum is $124.79. Raytheon Technologies is $96.04. The Clorox Company is $154 and almost 89 cents. Coca-Cola is $60 and 7 cents. I guess it could be 8 cents if you wanted to. Uh, Tyson's Food is $58 and 70 cents. And Walmart is $138 and 45 cents. So, um, Oh, again, overall, last week on the 10th, we were at $13,546.92. This week, the 17th, St. Patty's Day, we're at $13,778.89. So we came up $231.97. I do this because I want to give you a practical understanding how you can use, as a good average man, time and compound interest to get where you want to go. Now, let's say, for example, you decide that you want to open a car wash, a coin-operated or card-operated, a debit card, credit card-operated uh, automatic car wash. You need like probably $10,000 uh, to get the loan that you want at a percentage you can do. You've got the property picked out. Everything's ready to go, but you need some collateral. Now, you can use this $13,778.89 and pledge it as collateral to, to let the bank reassure the bank or the financial institution that you know what you're doing with your money. You're just not living paycheck to paycheck. You don't live on the edge of your money. You're, you're um, trying to build a future for yourself. And what this also does is it shows that you are a disciplined investor. And you don't chase returns. Again, our book is The Richest Man in Babylon. I'll get your foot in the door. Random walk on. They, I have so many books on finances. Uh, I hope you spend at least one hour every week to become more financial, financially literate. Patrick Boyle is a good guy to watch online. Uh, I like the little guy, tiny guy, CoffeeZilla. Um, anyways, it doesn't matter. I I'm dragging this way out too far. I just want to try to help you without taking anything from you. And you have to have not only a good understanding, but you have to have a good ability on how to use and leverage your money to get where you want to go. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. You're way more important than anybody wants to give you credit for. Love you guys. Happy St. Patty's Day. Like a fart in a drink. And happy Friday. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.